I just want to start out by thanking everyone for watching my videos. We've reached 100 subscribers. I didn't even imagine that I would get 100 subscribers. So thank you so much. I am really grateful and I really appreciate you all for watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button now. All right, so what we're going to be doing today is we are going to be using these polyester um, microfiber washcloths that we got from the dollar store. They come four in a pack. We are going to be using these to test our print settings for sublimation printing. The program that I use is Photoshop to uh, do my printing. Sometimes I use other things, for, but for the most part, I use Photoshop. So we will be um, checking out the print settings and how I produce these wonderful colors, okay? Okay, so here we are in Photoshop and I already went ahead and pulled up the file that we are going to be testing. As you see, these are very vibrant colors. Um, the neon-ish colors will not print neon using sublimation but you will see how the colors it kind of darkens but you still get the green effect so i want you all to go with me as i set up the print settings so we're going to print and um these are my default settings that i already have set up so um it's usually just a one step process for me to to print but i'm going to show you all what i usually do so for color handling photoshop manages my colors so here you'll get several different options if you want the printer to manage it i allow photoshop to manage the colors and for the printer profile i have tried several different print profiles the print profile that i find um to be extremely vibrant is the epson srgb um, and this is printing, of course I'm printing, I should have told you guys earlier, I'm printing from the Epson EcoTank 15,000, okay? And here we go, let's go to print settings. And so you're going to go down to print settings and um, I'm printing from a regular eight and a half by 11 sheet paper. So that fits into the uh, front loaded paper cassette. So of course I click there, but you have paper tray or auto select and then for sublimation printing with this particular printer I always use premium presentation paper mat okay I always use that one and I usually always get a good result and you want to definitely check here best quality in addition I always mirror my image um, depending sometimes whatever you're doing may call for an image that's not mirrored but for the most part you're mirroring your images okay okay so going down we're going to look at the color options and color options there's really nothing for us to select here because the because Photoshop is controlling the print so there's nothing for you to do there and that's pretty much all you'll have to do and so you click save. You always wanna make sure that you're doing normal printing and not heart proof printing. And I usually select perceptual or relative colorimetric, okay? And let's get ready to go ahead and print. So our image is done printing and this is what it came out looking like still very colorful looks like a lot of ink has gone onto the sublimation paper so we are going to get ready to um, sub this onto this washcloth and what we're going to do first is we are going to press the washcloth with um, our Cricut press we are using the Cricut press today and we're just going to press it to put a little heat on it to kind of loosen the material up a little bit after that, we are going to use our lint roller to get off any lint or any particles that may be on our washcloth so that we have a nice, smooth, and clean canvas to sublimate on, okay? All 
All right, so we have already pressed um, our washcloth with a little heat. What we're going to do next is we are going to lay, I have two uh, pieces of butcher paper already cut. So what we're going to do is we'll just put that down there, lay our washcloth on top, and then I'm going to go over this with the lint roller to get rid of any lint or debris that may be on our washcloth. And then I'll try not to touch it. Typically what I'll do is once we have our image done, I usually trim the edges off of the image, but I don't really feel the need to um, today. And I might want to say this is so beautiful. The color looks amazing even on the sublimation paper. Sometimes the colors look a little bit off or you can't really tell what color is going to be sublimated onto the shirt or mask, whatever you're doing, but this looks amazing. So we're just going to lay it this way. And I'm going to lay it horizontally. And then I also have my heat tape. So we're going to put a little bit of heat tape on it just to tape it down because this easy press, I gotta see if it's going to cover the entire, the entire image or if I have to do it in multiple presses. So I'm gonna put a little bit of tape here. Let's tape it down. Okay, that's all the tape that uh, I'm going to use. That should be fine. And then we're going to put another piece of butcher paper on top of that. You don't want to mess up your heat press, okay? Because the ink comes through um, a lot of times onto from your sublimation paper onto your butcher paper, whatever you have that's blocking it. And we're going to get ready to press. Today I'm pressing this at 360 degrees for 60 seconds. I want to get the edges. Okay. Okay, y'all, so we are done um, pressing, and so we are just going to unveil. You can see when I lifted it up, you can even see in the back. So you may not be able to see too well on here, but some of the ink did come through, just a little. Wow, look at those colors. Look how vibrant and nice those colors are. Just gorgeous. I think this is my favorite part of sublimating is removing the sublimation sheet to reveal the artwork. All right, y'all. So here's our final product, um, our color test or print settings test and it came out beautifully. The colors are nice and vibrant. Honestly, in person, like in person, it looks a thousand times better than I'm looking at it right now on the screen. Um, yeah, and remember you wanna use material that is 100% polyester or has a very high polyester count. This does not work on cotton. You will need other materials um, to make sublimation work on cotton. So remember, 100% polyester. This pack came from the Dollar Tree. There's four inside the pack, so it's 25 cents. It's easier to practice on 25 cents than it is to practice on an actual shirt or tumbler or whatever that you're using um, and wasting that money. So I like to practice on these. They sell these where they sell the socks in Dollar Tree, okay? 
and that's it thank you if you all enjoyed this video or if it helped you please remember to like it and also don't forget subscribe your girl has over 100 subscribers now and i am about to celebrate okay thank you so much for watching